Oh, hello, space people. Um, I'm looking from space ale. Uh, I'm looking to have a space great time. And um, yeah, okay. I'm just from out of town. Okay. Great. And the character um, is this guy. He, he comes over to the, you see him go over to the bar near you guys. And he's like, coins, coins, coins. Because I have actually have soul crystals on me. They're probably a little too expensive for this. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, I have some coins. How many L's? Space L's. Space L. Give me the good stuff. How many space L's can I get with this one? <laughs> uh, Damien, be the bartender. Oh, let's see what you got there. Uh, yes, I have, uh, looks like. Uh, it looks I, like one. I was there we go. One I was actually two. gambling before I left, <laughs> and I was gambling with a wizard, and um, so I, I didn't even count my money. Is what I got, though. All right. Yeah, that'll get you started. Well, how, how, wait, <laughs> how many started? That's yeah, don't worry, that's it's a lot of gold. Oh, yeah, sure. You'll be good for a while. Worried. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Here you go, sir. Here you are. Oh, this is the best it, one it's I the got first, on set. First of many. Of course. Okay. Yes, Just here you are. Make, make sure. Okay. <laughs> Just take it. Enjoy. Wow. This is good. I All like right. it. Okay, so you guys are at the table. You can role play. Who just want any kind of characters into this place, I guess? I guess he's not from around the astral plane. Space. You should see, you see if he's got a ship. Soul crystals? Hmm. What are soul crystals? I don't know, but if it's shiny, it has to be worth something. Maybe he does have a ship. That's a good idea, Blubber. That's what I would ask him. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, the space ale's pretty good. You have any? D- you have to ask specifically for the space ale. Um, I've I've never have specifically asked for space ale. <laughs> You're not drinking right, buddy. I've been <laughs> here five minutes and I know how to ask for space ale. I can tell you the Drifting Galleon has some of the finest ale in the area. It does. He drinks. He finishes the second one already. I haven't introduced myself. Woo! Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, do it. Do it! I'm excited. Okay. Who are you? Shh, shh. Keep it down. Oh. Keep it low profile. Sure. Right. My name is Prince. Wanna trap these space thieves? It, c- right. My name is Prince Calfarzel. You are a prince? I am a prince. A bona fide prince? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your name is? I am Jacques. Jacques Beaumont. Jacques Beaumont. Yes. Jacques. I am, I am very far from home. Do you know where Andaria is? I've never heard of Andaria. Uh-oh. Have I heard of Andaria? No. I've never heard of Andaria. Well, well, we should go there, and you should take me. <laughs> what brings you here? A bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> These are my my companions. Blubbert. Wait. <laughs> Sherry. Hold on. <laughs> yep. Are we going to ignore the fact that he's a blob and his name is Blubbert? <laughs> That's right, I'm a plasmoid. No, you... Robert is my name. It's great to meet you. Not weird at all. You are a hippo. <laughs> I am. It's a gift. Well, we're hippo folk. So I met a blob thing and a hippotami. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm Sherry. Your name is Sherry? Sh- Sheraton Zadaya. Sheraton. Call Michael. But you can call me Sherry. Ah, well, Sherry, nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet uh, you. Why don't you, why don't you uh, come on up and uh, buy me a nail? Since I only have so much money, I'm so far away from home, I'm probably going to die here. Hmm, well, I was... I noticed some shiny things that you had put on the bar earlier. Hmm. I did, yes. Do you have more of those? Why? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get a couple of drinks at me, and maybe I'll tell you about shiny things. How much money did he put on the bar before? Uh, like if- en- enough to buy the bar? No. Well, <laughs> I, I thought you were like <laughs> the crystals. He, he probably put like thirty-five gold out. You should you should be giving him like twelve drinks easy. Like beyond that, beyond twelve drinks. What am I saying? I was gonna, I was gonna, gonna say, say probably about thirty-five like drinks. Of drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he he did. He, he could have bought the whole bar around. So that's why he was like, I hope you hope he more than that one <laughs> ale that's coming. But the crystals he put on, you immediately register as an arcane something or other. Interesting, a soul crystal. But like, man, that's worth a lot. You know, and he had a bunch of them. And it looked like he probably had Bunch. more. How many did we see? Uh, you saw four, <clears throat> but you looked like there were more in his pockets. Oh, my God. Okay. Oof. Hey, guys, look. Look. 
getting hot in here. Show a girl a good time, you know, give me some drinks, and then maybe we'll talk a little more. Chuck. Okay. Do you have a ship? What about the drinks we just talked about? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you some drinks. Let's have a good time first. If you seem like good people, we could talk about interesting things. But listen, you're all about ship, 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 and I'm more like drink, drink, drink. Let's meet in the middle. You make a fair point. Let's enjoy the night in the Drifting Galley. Great. That's what this place is called? Yes. Okay. First uh, round's on you. And okay. then the second round's on you. And I, then we'll find some... And the third round's in the blob guy. I flip a gold coin to the bartender, I say. Another round for me and my friends. This is okay. Let's do it. you're joined by another person and this is not going to be your character this, okay. this is a uh, um an npc of your design you want to take off your glasses for this so that oh, is yeah. so i don't want to confuse anybody right, <laughs> <laughs> right. we hit the three cream grow <laughs> <laughs> how's that griffin bug eyes he's a two cream um, okay so you, you come into the conversation and jacques is getting hammered all right and uh you can decide with, whether you're hammered or not and uh you guys are just talking and eventually so we, we, we pass forward to this time, and Jacques's like, oh, yeah, because I think a great time. He goes, yeah, so what was the question? What was the craziest thing I ever did? Is that what you asked me? One time I held a knife uh, up to a, the throat of a flying Ifrit until he flew me out of hell. One time I saw a clown on a bicycle in this city of magic. Hmm. It was th I can't forget it, man. It was <laughs> the scariest thing I ever saw. My friend Carl... He loves clouds. He he thinks they're fun, and he brings his kids to see them, and he's not afraid yeah. of them. And in, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I love Carl, but he's not right in the head. I fought a necromancer. I met a girl named Linda. Shh, we hooked up a few times, but now she's with like this paladin guy. He's good people, you know. And, and it, it's not like it bothers me. You know, like you know, it doesn't sting my heart and make me cry <laughs> when I, you know. So, but you know, of course, you go on, and then a little piece of your heart gets ripped out of your chest and stopped at the ground, and you try to move on. But you pick it up, you pick it up, and you you hug it, and you kiss it, and you say, "Hello, little heart. I don't know why people don't like you." Then you find the nearest robot dance club, and you dance and sing the night away while drinking too many healing potions, and boom, you're not afraid of anything. You got to survive. You got to fight in this place, right? To, to get what you want in life, you have to fight. You got to try to survive. Are you getting any of this? You. Clearly, a life of adventure you have led. Seems well, like yes. Place. Now I'm old. These bones are old. Hmm. I'm like 70-something. I don't even keep track anymore. But, like, I'm done. You are a bag of bones. <laughs> and I was I, I was gambling with one of my friends before oh, here. Wow. And uh, with, uh, um, it's like this weird, weird wizard. And I accidentally... We were talking about uh, a friend relic who actually travels in, in I guess, a spell jamming vessel, right? That's what you call them, or whatever. And um, we were talking about him, and I and I had this magic coin in my hand. It's called the collector's coin. I had a magic coin in my hand at the time, and I made a wish, saying like, "Oh yeah, I wish I wish I was right in front right now." I know I would tell him because he's a he's a, a jerk. And he came through, and then I went on his ship. And he didn't like that very much. He dropped me off here. There, there's a lot to process. Am I ever going to go back home? What? First, first and foremost. I'm sorry. You had a magical item that could grant any wish. Yes. And you wished to be in front of your friend so you could call him a jerk. Exactly. <laughs> and, I, and I did tell him. Where is your friend? The spell gem. He went away. Can you bring him back? No. He dropped me off his ship. He kicked me off, literally, with the bottom of his metal boot. Can you wish him to come back? No, I don't have the coin. Where'd the coin go? You, you, you flick it in the air and it disappears. It's magical. Oh. You're a wizard. Once. You're a wizard once? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Who Your, took it away from you? This <laughs> man is no help Can only be used once? Oh, yeah. It's just one time. Chuck, we need a ship. Is there any way you can help us get a ship? Uh, I don't think he can. I don't have any influence here. Maybe I seem like a popular guy. 
but I don't know anybody. I like you. You do? <laughs> yeah. Great. Do you have a ship for him? No. I've exhausted all of my resources. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can the ship get me home? Can you fly home? Can I get to Andaria from here? I, I don't know where Andaria is. Okay. But a, a ship would get me there, right? Theoretically, yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, hold on. He pulls out, oh, he pulls out like 17 of these crystals. It's like, is this enough to buy a ship? What what exactly are those? They're soul crystals. Soul <clears throat> crystals? Yeah. What abilities do they have? Oh, uh, more sorts of things. You can absorb them into your body and you get magical effects and stuff. I haven't absorbed any. That's not my kind of thing. I what? absorb things in my body all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I could try that. No, no one's trying anything with these. I, I do expensive. it all the time. Look. Oh, if, if it flies. Ooh, that looks like fun. How much do I know about astral crystals? Astral crystals? Um, you know very little. Okay. So These I, are not them. I, but I know they're not them. Yeah. What I'm looking for is not what he has. Like, I Correct. need to... I need, okay, okay. So is this enough to buy a ship? Yes. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what. Um... I'll help you get the ship. Whatever you got to do, I'll help you do it. We have a very important mission. Yes. If Save the world, fight a god. I've done them all. Whatever. <laughs> Who's the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Just say the name. I'll write it down. Zeno. No, I, it's like a trap. Just tell me. <laughs> His name is Zeno Godstone. Zeno Godstone. Dead. <laughs> the future. Oh, I... I <laughs> I thought maybe you wished you wished him to be dead. No, just, no. Oh, you can and, do and that. He might as well be dead, because okay. I just put him on my list. I can tell you this, shock. And that list is empty right now, so okay. I got lots of time. If you, well. help, if you can help us on our mission, we will help you get back home. Right. So we killed we killed this guy, and then that's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't see what. Yeah, I'm in. No problem. <laughs> 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 okay, so we get okay, get ship. Okay. Okay, ship. Let's I, I look, I'm too drunk to get ship right now. Maybe tomorrow we get the ship. I look over at Loken like <clears throat> and he looks like uh, uh, he does have more than enough for a ship. Yes. Okay. This works. Huh. And I uh, also I found someone to look after the shop for me, so I'll be helping you. I don't know if I can get into any battles, but I will be able to wash the ship, you know, when you you know in Make sure everything's okay and help you spell jam. Get you on your own, you know? Thank you, Logan. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, tomorrow we go to a uh, ship place. <laughs> the docks? <laughs> the docks! <laughs> I should have got that one. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Somewhere. He, he walks out. Hello, okay, so I'll, I'll help him. I'll help you. Make sure he... You can come, come stay with me, Jacques. Make sure he remembers this tomorrow, Logan, please. Yes. Okay. Where you live, like a space tower? Yes. Space <laughs> tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys are there. <laughs> Tom's character is there with you, too. He's been with you the whole night. You kind of feel like you know him a little bit. <laughs> he just comes. I guess we're getting a ship. We found our way to a ship. That is the coolest guy I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Wait, the All of a sudden, the, do the door is open, and you see a paladin and a autonome walk in, and you immediately recognize the autonome. Nomington. Nomington. Ah. <sighs> Prince Calthor, Your Highness. I, I must say, it's a relief to see you, Nomington. I sent the Raven to my brother days ago. I. Would not have expected him to send some riches with you, but it's very nice to see you. As it always is a pleasure to see you, Nomington. Your so, Highness, I the... am sorry to say I bring the most distressing of news. Your royal brother, Kalon, has died. The fortress of Dalgon has been sacked. Our elvish nation stands on the cusp of destruction. Kalon has been slain. 
Yes. Normington, this does not make sense. I sent a raven to my brother days ago. I asked him for coin, as I have in the past. You are here now after I sent the raven. Do you have coin for me? No, I was sent by the Sacred One himself to find you, along with Lord Valentir. You were not sent by my brother? No. He had already dispatched me, prior perhaps to your final communication with him. You were sent to me by my father. Yes, Your Highness. What instructions does he send? It is essential. The star shield must be reactivated. Astral crystals must be brought to Eridan. It is our only hope to defeat the dwarves. Where are the crystals now? They were on their way to the fortress. Any word on their current location? The exact location is unknown. How did you get here? Lord Kaltha, if I may. Your father has tasked us with returning you back to the Citadel. You are to be the next heir. What about the crystals? What about the shield? When we return you back to the Citadel, we will discuss with your father how we will proceed to get the crystals. But your safety is my priority. Do I have any idea in terms of, like, a timeline? Like, how, how quickly the shield has to go up? How <clears throat> long it would take to get the crystal? No? No. You know about it as being a, a considered an ancient um, arcane device. Um, and you've learned about it as, like, learning about history, but you know nothing about the workings. It may have been the thing that actually made you intrigued in magic and such, but leading you to become a wizard, perhaps? Like, a little, little notch in the, um, your timeline? Uh, but you don't know much about it. I don't know where they are. Normington doesn't know where they are. And you realize now, um, you're remembering that the message found you. But that message found you not knew where you were. Your brother didn't know where you were. Yeah. So you don't know how much time has passed between there. And he's obviously been looking at you for, for a, a bit now. So you could... You don't know where, unfortunately, what you missed, the timeline of anything. Okay. So let me let me ask a couple questions about this, actually. Do we know where the crystals were originating from? Um, so you don't know any of that? No, you don't know. You have no idea. Okay. Crystals have arrived at the fortress by now. They're in Zeno Godstone's hands. I don't know where he may have sent them or what he might be doing with them. Perhaps before returning to Golden Citadel, we try and find out some information about the fortress. What may have happened in its downfall? I was tasked with returning him safely to the Citadel. And that's what we will do. Once we get back to the Citadel, then we can decide with the king how he would like to proceed with finding these crystals, if he so wishes. Because as you say, the dwarves already have the crystals. Yes, it may already be too late. How long does it take for us to get from where we are now back to the Citadel? If we were to um, get a ship like today or tomorrow. Two days. And all right. what when about? was when was the shipment due at the fortress? <sighs> Perhaps a fortnight, approximately. I. Not sure exactly, but they would have arrived and all of a sudden the doors the doors open. 
and you see oaring in is a bunch of dwarves. And it's got to be about uh, 12 of them. And they all have these axes that are like glowing on the on like the, the tip of the blade. And one comes up above and he has like this uh, this helmet that has like the huge horns on it. Aye. Prince Calthar it is. Little Birdie told us that you were here looking for a ship. So we got one. Of course, it may not be going to the destination, but Mike, 